gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode 53, and it's the Monday Night Raw after a successful Judgment Day pay-per-view this past Saturday night. And coming up tonight at the Prudential Center live in Newark, New Jersey, for the first time since August the 9th, the franchise John Cena is back in action as he reignites an old rivalry against the new number one contender for the WWE Championship, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Tonight's main event, John Cena, Randy Orton, one-on-one -on -one here on Monday Night Raw. But we kick things off tonight with a singles contest featuring one half of the new WWE World Tag Team Champions. A lot of writing on, on possibly the best tag team match of the year this past Saturday Night at Judgment Day and walking away of Denver, Colorado, where Priest and Dijakovic, the new World Tag Team Champions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Dijakovic from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. Well, this past Saturday night in Denver, Colorado at Judgment Day, the Mysterios, after being on top of the tag team division for several months here in the WWE, put the titles up for the second time against Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. And what a match it was. As we mentioned, possibly the best tag team matchup of the year between these four competitors. And in the end, Damian Priest. Dominic Dijakovic outlasting Dominic and Rey Mysterio and they walked away of Judgment Day the new WWE World Tag Team Champions if you missed that incredible tag team matchup go check out the replay right now on the YouTube channel Judgment Day what a night it was and his opponent accompanied by Shelton Benjamin representing the Hurt Business from Charlotte North Carolina weighing in at 200 pounds Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander set for action against Damian Priest here tonight. And as you know, the issues between the Hurt Business, Priest and Dijakovic, run deep these last number of months. We've touched about it on recent memory here in Universe Mode, but Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, their tag team partnership really coming together with a common enemy in the Hurt Business. And things date back over a month ago when Priest and Dijakovic defeated the Hurt Business here on Monday Night Raw. And you remember back to that Saturday night main event special, the night before Extreme Rules back in August, where Shelton Benjamin, with the help of Cedric Alexander, was able to defeat Damian Priest in one-on-one -on -one action. You also remember back to a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw when Priest and Dijakovic won their number one contendership for Judgment Day. In that matchup, they defeated the Hurt Business, as well as the Viking Raiders. So the history between these four gentlemen runs deep over the last month and change. And we're right in the next chapter here tonight. Damian Priest. We're going to get a measure of revenge on Cedric Alexander for that matchup over a month ago on Saturday night's main event. But for Cedric Alexander, tonight could be an opportunity to put the Hurt Business in line for a future World Tag Team Championship matchup against Priest and Dijakovic. Priest and Dijakovic have been outlasting numerous tag teams over the last month really come together in their own as a new duo in the tag team division. And again, they really came together through a common enemy in Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. And we talked about it in the past, but a mutual respect was already there between those two men, dating back over months ago, back to the month of April, when Priest and Dijakovic batted it out here on Raw in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. So those two men with history with each other, a lot of respect for each other, and all those talents and their chemistry as of late, led them to walking out of Judgment Day with the new WWE World Tag Team Championships. And Cedric Alexander working over Damian Priest right now, and again trying to build some momentum for the Hurt Business. And as these two men are going at it inside of the ring, we want to remind you right here tonight on Monday Night Raw, the return of the franchise John Cena. Last time we saw John Cena was on August the 9th in the main event of Raw versus the former WWE Champion Austin Theory. Of course, Austin Theory lost that gold 48 hours ago against the Rated R Superstar Edge. We're going to touch on that situation later tonight in our main event, which again will feature John Cena versus the new number one contender for the WWE Championship, Randy Orton. So big time matchup sign here tonight at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. 
As Monday Night Raw continues to roll on week in and week out as we kick off the road to Survivor Series here tonight. Our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, which is going to be coming in the month of October. Cedric Alexander bringing the fight to the outside on Damian Priest. Remember this past Saturday night at Judgment Day, the leader of the Hurt Business, Bobby Lashley, with Omos and MVP by his side, able to defeat the phenomenal AJ Styles. So things going good for the Hurt Business coming out of Judgment Day. Ken Priest, or excuse me, Ken Alexander and Shelton Benjamin in his corner continue that momentum here tonight. Or is Damian Priest's momentum coming out of Judgment Day going to be too much for the Hurt Business to handle? We're going to find out. Later we get into this matchup right here tonight on Monday Night Raw and Cedric Alexander catching Priest in that Spanish fly. It almost had Priest there. Damian Priest living to fight another day. You gotta wonder the condition of Damian Priest here tonight after that physical tag team matchup alongside Dijakovic against the Mysterios this past Saturday night. The matchup going near 20 minutes at Judgment Day. An absolutely tag team wrestling clinic. Mysterios after being on top of the tag team division for several months. No one can deny that Priest and Dijakovic earned their championships on Saturday. Priest going to the air, taking Alexander down. Now he's going back up top. Priest coming in hot with the elbow drop. Into the cover he goes. Is it going to be victory? And Cedric Alexander gets the shoulder up again. Damian Priest looking to put this matchup away here again. That May play into, you gotta wonder the condition of Priest coming out of that physical tag team altercation at Judgment Day. No rest for the weary, especially when you're a champion here on Monday Night Raw. And Cedric Alexander's finding that out firsthand. Damian Priest now working over Cedric and taking him out with that backbreaker. And speaking of the tag team championships, we of course got the official announcement at Judgment Day that the women's tag team championships will be returning here to the WWE, reinstated an eight-team tournament that's going to go to culminate, excuse me, in October at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. It's going to kick off right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. A tag team matchup with Ember Moon and Shotzi taking on Damage Control, Bailey and Dakota Kai. A tag team matchup kicking off the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament coming up later tonight on Monday Night Raw. Again, that matchup, or excuse me, that tournament will culminate in October at Survivor Series. And we're going to have more news on that event and more news on the future of WWE and some of the announcements that were touched on at Judgment Day throughout tonight's Monday Night Raw. It's going to be a very newsworthy event, and Cedric Alexander may have just punched his ticket to victory. Lumbar checked to Damian Priest into the cover, but Priest able to get the shoulder up. Alexander thought he had Damian Priest there, catching him with that lumbar check. Alexander's going to the top. Damian Priest trying to cut him off. Alexander crashes and burns because of it. And now one half of the World Tag Team Champions goes behind on her business member, just trying to wear down Cedric Alexander right now after the crash and burn. Priest obviously the bigger of the two competitors, just trying to muscle down the smaller competitor in this matchup. And now Priest may be feeling a sense of urgency after eating that lumbar check. His tag team partner, Dominic Dijakovic, liking what he sees. Springboard, moonsault. One of the many attributes of Damian Priest. We talk about it every time him and Dijakovic have been in the ring. It goes a part of how great of a duo they are. Their agility for men of their size. And Priest with that sidewalk choke slam. It almost had Alexander there. Not able to put the member of the Hurt Business away just yet. What a battle we have kicking us off here tonight on Monday Night Raw between Damian Priest and Cedric Alexander. Will Alexander be able to fight back, potentially earn the Hurt Business a future tag team championship opportunity? Or is the momentum too strong for Priest and Dijakovic right now? Alexander's down, Damian Priest may be looking for the reckoning on Cedric Alexander. And Priest going into the cover right in front of Sh Shelton Benjamin, and Priest gets the win. A measure of revenge tonight for that Saturday night's main event matchup nearly a month ago. Damian Priest continuing the momentum of the new World Tag Team Champions. The reckoning dawns upon the Hurt Business here tonight in Newark. 
What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. Plenty of more action to come. And right now, the World Tag Team Champions are just on top of a wave of momentum. One of the big stories coming out of the Judgment Day pay-per-view is the official announcement of the WWE brand extension. Friday Night SmackDown is coming back on the air, and it all begins on the Raw After Survivor Series, where we witness the WWE Draft. New superstars, championships being reinstated, a whole new world is coming to the WWE. The WWE Draft on the Raw After Survivor Series, coming soon. We are back inside the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey. Monday Night Raw continues on with the Monday Night Showcase of John Morrison. And John Morrison, we touched about it many times, has been able to get a recent victory. Will tonight be the night? Oh, wait a minute here. John Morrison set for action. Wait a minute. Carrying Cross Is that Scarlet Carrying Cross is here on Monday Night Raw. We knew with the upcoming WWE brand extension that more superstars are going to be making their way back to the main roster. But in this case, Carrying Cross is back in the WWE umbrella. The former two-time NXT champion. A man who wants to reset the timelines of world wrestling entertainment. One match at a time. One opponent at a time. One doomsday at a time. The eerie walk of Scarlet with Karrion Cross in the shadows. What a surprise here on Monday Night Raw. What a sight. John Morrison could not have been expecting this here tonight. As we mentioned, a former two-time NXT champion, Karrion Cross, is here on Monday Night Raw, unannounced to anybody, and with Scarlett by his side, a new power duo may have just entered the building. Carrying Cross, an unexpected arrival. John Morrison with all the talent in the world. And he knows Carrying Cross from past matchups before. He can't be happy with the opponent that lies ahead tonight. Well, certainly an interesting way to continue with us on here on Monday Night Raw. John Morrison set for action in the return of Carrying Cross. Oh, Morrison with a right hand on Cross. Oh, look at this. Morrison, reverse Rana. Morrison realizes that his doomsday may be approaching. He's got to take the fight to Cross now or never. From the top he goes, but Cross just sidesteps him. Carrying Cross is back here in the WWE. An unannounced opponent to John Morrison. And Morrison's just doing what he can to try to hang in this fight. Trying to dip and dodge and trying to hit Carrying Cross before things reach a climax here. But Karrion Cross, this man, absolutely brutal inside of the ring. A destructive force in NXT for well over a year. Now back in the WWE. And this man is going to be a force to be reckoned with here on Raw. Karrion Cross just taking the fight to John Morrison right now. What a surprise we are witnessing. On a night that will feature the return of John Cena taking on Randy Orton. A night that will feature the kickoff to the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Karrion Cross is back on Raw and he's beating the hell out of John Morrison. The brutality of Cross as Scarlett watches from ringside. A very destructive dynamic duo making their way down the aisle and into the ring tonight. John Morrison has got to be thinking to himself, this is not the opponent that I wanted to try to make my 
comeback against, if you will. Morrison's been struggling for months to get a victory here on Raw, to get a victory here in the WWE. And tonight he thought may have been the night, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to take down a much larger, stronger, and destructive competitor and carry a cross who might have just sent John Morrison's head into the stands of the Prudential Center. Oh, and a Sayudo suplex and Morrison is down and out. Morrison is down and out, and now Karrion Cross continuing the fight. Not even looking to end this matchup yet. He just wants to beat down on John Morrison. Dangerous and destructive is Cross in there right now. And Morrison, I don't know if he's got any life left in him, but if he does, now's the time to try to make action. But Cross just took Morrison's head off again in this contest. Oh, and Morrison's got some life. Nice kick to Karrion Cross. Oh, Morrison's got to act faster than that. Karrion Cross is at the top of his game right now. Clearly, here on his Monday Night Raw return. Oh, and what a kick! Now, once again, the beatdown commences on Morrison here on Raw. Cross is just looking to make a statement here tonight. Hasn't even gone for the victory yet. Not a pinfall nor a submission. Cross is just making a statement on John Morrison's behalf. Morrison is dazed and confused inside of that ring right now. And he's trying to fight with any last breath he's got in him. Takes over Cross into a bridge. Still away for the pinfall because Cross is right back up. Morrison goes for the drop kick, but carry it, Cross. Just kicks him down to the canvas. Cross so dangerous into a bridge of his own. A certain style that's just a beatdown of his opponent. That's what Karrion Cross brings to the table. And Morrison stays. Cross has got his eyes locked on his opponent here. And could be looking for that cross jacket submission hold. And he is. He's got it wrenched in tight. And Morrison's got no choice but to tap out. Karrion Cross, a surprise return to Monday Night Raw. Statement made. Morrison laid waste tonight. Picked apart, move by move, minute by minute in this contest. And the cross jacket that you just witnessed wrenched in deep to the soul of John Morrison. And Doomsday has commenced here on Monday Night Raw. And after that shocking, dangerous return, the Raw locker room has been put on notice. Karrion Cross is here and is ready to fight everybody and anybody inside of the squared circle. Well, this past Saturday night at Judgment Day, minutes after Randy Orton had defeated Mustafa Ali, Cameras cut to the back as the Celtic warrior Sheamus, who wasn't even scheduled to be at Judgment Day, was witnessed ambushing the Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne, the man who took the championship away from Sheamus almost three months ago. And as you witness Sheamus right here, putting Pete Dunne through a table and sending him down to the concrete below. Pete Dunne was already coming into Denver, Colorado, taped up, bruised up, through injuries and weeks of attacks from that man, Tommaso Ciampa. But we know how tough the bruiser weighed in. He was gonna come out and defend that Intercontinental Championship no matter the cause. And that's exactly what Pete Dunne did. And it was a brutal fight for the Intercontinental Championship between those two men. But Tommaso Ciampa in the end walked out with the Intercontinental Gold. And Tommaso Ciampa will be here on Monday Night Raw next week as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with a former World Tag Team Champion, Dominic Mysterio gets his opportunity one-on-one -on -one against the Blackheart. It is time to kick off your Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament right now! The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Dakota Kai and Bailey. 
These two women, also known as Damage Control, two of the eight teams participating in this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. There you see the bracket over the next number of weeks. This bracket will play out, and the finals will take place in the month of October at the Survivor Series pay-per-view, where we will crown new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Bailey knows a thing or two about holding those gold. A former tag team champion in her own right, the first ever women's tag team champion alongside Sasha Banks. But all these years later, new partnerships. Join the fray. Bailey alongside with Dakota Kai these last number of weeks, calling themselves damage control to the women's division. But can they get through to former women's champions and former NXT tag team champions? And their opponents first from Dallas, Texas. Ember Moon, it's been quite some time since she has held gold here in the WWE. But she's a former NXT Women's Champion and a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion alongside her partner tonight, Shotzi. So these two women know a thing or two about holding tag team gold inside of the ring and they're looking to do it again on the road to Survivor Series. When we talk about specifically Ember Moon, it's been quite some time since we've seen her not only hold gold, but get that big time victory here in the WWE. It's been a rocky couple of months for Ember Moon. Can she bounce back tonight against Bailey and Dakota Kai with of course her tag team partner Shotzi by her side? But the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament gonna be something to witness over the next number of weeks. This coming Thursday on main event, Io Shirai and Zia Lee gonna team up against Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. And of course, the tournament will continue next week on Raw and into the weeks following in the Survivor Series. And here come Ember Moon's tag team partner tonight. Shotzi is in action. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Shotzi has struggled over the last number of months as well. Her road to the Women's Championship came to a head back on June 26th at SummerSlam, where she became the WWE Women's Champion, unfortunately being cashed in on by the current champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Shotzi failed to win her rematch alongside Bianca Belair in a triple threat back at Extreme Rules in August. And now Shotzi looking to refocus from the Women's Championship to the Women's Tag Team Championship. With her friend and former partner, or I should say, former Tag Team Champion, Along her side, Ember Moon. Can Shotzi and Ember hold gold once again? They gotta get through Bailey and Dakota Kai tonight. Those two women, a new partnership that has been a successful one for the most part of the last number of weeks. But it's all about who can get it done in two on two action here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And what a night it's been thus far, carrying across, making his return. John Cena set to face Randy Orton at our main event here tonight. But right here, right now, it is all about the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Kick it off live from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Damage Control, Ember Moon and Shotzi. First round matchup of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And we are underway. There's the ring of the bell. Who is going to move on to the semifinals in a number of weeks? Of course... As the bracket will play out, the winner of this match will face the winner of this Thursday's matchup on main event between Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. And on the other side, Io Shirai and Xia Lee. And Ramoon tagging in Shotzi. And you gotta think, out of everybody in this contest, Shotzi may be the most itchy to hold some gold here in the WWE. After she fought so hard throughout the summer to try to retain the WWE Women's Championship, or I should say, obtain the WWE Women's Championship, and that opportunity really falling through her hands in just a matter of moments. Shotzi's felt what it's like to be a champion without even holding the gold in her hand. She wants to hold championship gold here in the WWE, and the tag team route could be the way to do it. But Bailey and Dakota Kai tonight, gonna make sure that that doesn't happen on their behalf. A new partnership, Bailey bringing Dakota Kai up from NXT. Seemingly maybe to try to help Bailey get back in the winning ways after she struggled for a number of months. And for the most part, it has helped out the duo. Dakota Kai took a loss a few weeks ago here on Raw, but still Bailey been featured a lot more on Raw thanks to the partnership with Dakota Kai. And things may be looking up for that new 
duo that calls themselves Damage Control. It's all about the Women's Tag Team Championships. Getting reinstated officially this past weekend at Judgment Day, and champions will be crowned in the month of October at Survivor Series. And if you missed Judgment Day, we definitely recommend going check out the replay. Eight great matches, quite possibly the best Universe Mode pay-per-view we have seen thus far. Oh, and Ember Moon, what a crossbody on Bailey. Could be picking up the victory here, taking her out off that springboard, but Bailey kicks out Dakota Kai, a sneak attack from behind on Ember Moon. Ember looking to take out Dakota Bailey, coming from behind. As we were mentioning this past Saturday night at Judgment Day, of course, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, defended the Women's Championship against Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan in a triple threat matchup. And seemingly, those two women gaining a mutual respect for each other, entering the tag team tournament after just being across the ring just last week. Now, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll be a part of the Women's Tag Team Championship tournament alongside each other. Very interesting scenario there. Of course, Randy Orton took on Mustafa Ali for the number one contendership for the WWE Championship. Ricochet defended the Cruiserweight Championship against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. As we just took a look at moments ago, Pete Dunne defended the Intercontinental Championship in a bruising matchup against the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. What a fight that was and an unfortunate night for Pete Dunne in Denver, Colorado on Saturday night. The World Tag Team Championships were defended. The Mysterios versus Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. As you saw earlier tonight, AJ Styles and Bobby Lashley going one-on-one. -on -one. A matchup months in the making. Of course, the WWE Championship was on the line in the main event. As Austin Theory defended against the Rated R Superstar Edge. What a night it was this past Saturday night at Judgment Day. The replay is available now here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Getting back to the action inside of the ring, Dakota Kai and Shotzi, your two legal competitors in this Women's Tag Team Championship first round matchup here. Dakota Kai and Bailey looking good in this contest right now. It's all about gaining the momentum and continuing on to the semifinals of this tournament. And Shotzi's got Dakota Kai in a predicament. Dakota, as you notice, she turned her back on Shotzi. She went after Ember Moon, and that seemingly cost her here. Oh, wait a minute, look at this, Shotzi scaling the turnbuckles into the sliced bread mover. And that may be all she wrote, Shotzi and Ember Moon could be moving on to the semis, but Bailey able to break it up. Bailey in there to break the count. Well, Shotzi better watch Bailey distracting Shotzi and that Dakota Kai comes from behind. And the momentum shifts back to Damage Control's corner. Who's going to move on to the Survivor Series pay-per-view over these next number of weeks? We are going to find out. Survivor Series is going to be taking place in the month of October, our next Universe Mode pay-per-view. And, of course, the Raw after Survivor Series, as announced and touched on earlier tonight again, the WWE Draft, which will take place right here on Monday Night Raw, the Raw after Survivor Series. There's going to be a lot of news regarding the championships and the superstars in that draft up where the women are going to be heading, where the cruiserweight division is going to be heading. A lot of news coming in the next number of weeks in the WWE Draft. Stay tuned to Monday Night Raw on Thursday night's main event, as well as our community tab right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for more news regarding the WWE brand extension. Friday Night SmackDown coming back on the air the week after Survivor Series, and it all kicks off on the WWE Draft, the Raw, after the Survivor Series pay-per-view coming up in October. Bailey now the legal woman with Shotzi inside of the ring. Shotzi is dazed. Damage control is in firm control of this contest. Bailey with the drop toe hold. Simple but effective maneuver. Shotzi eating the canvas. Bailey looking good. Shotzi is in trouble right now. Suplex. You see Bailey's keeping it real simple in there right now, but she is doing a number on Shotzi. As we have these four women in here and a lot of the women's division tied up in the tag team tournament right now, you gotta wonder who is gonna step up to fight the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, next in line for the WWE Women's Championship. Of course, with Survivor Series coming up, you know Asuka's gonna wanna be a part of that big time card, one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. You know Asuka's gonna wanna defend that Women's Championship. So far in her reign, she's successfully defended the gold against Casey Catanzaro, Shotzi, Bianca Belair, 
Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. So who is going to be next to step up to Asuka for the WWE Women's Championship? I'm sure we will find that out in the coming weeks. Now look at this, Shotzi taking over Bailey there. A little bit of a Saito after Bailey really took her eye off the ball for a moment. Just to knock Ember Moon off the apron. And Shotzi's headed to the top. Coffin drop. A move that has won Shotzi gold in the past. But Dakota Kai breaking things up. And now Ember Moon in there. Trying to take care of Dakota Kai and she does. And we're left with Bailey and Shotzi inside of the ring. But Shotzi's looking good. Into the cover again on Bailey. But Bailey gets the shoulder up. Who is going to have the heart and the soul and the drive to become the women's tag team champions? We're going to find that out over the next number of weeks, and we're certainly going to find it out tonight. Wait a minute, small package here. Is Shotzi and Ember Moon moving on? Bailey survives again. And Bailey is in trouble right now. Damage control was in firm control of this contest. The momentum has certainly shifted back and may have just shifted yet again in this contest. Now Bailey Lewis looking to take out the knee of Shotzi. Oh man, can't climb to the top rope and hit that coffin drop on a busted up leg. And Dakota Kai and Ember Moon still brawling away on the outside of the ring. Referee can't attend to the chaos though because he's got to deal with Bailey and Shotzi inside the squared circle and Hura Conorana from the top rope. A Frankenstein, or excuse me, Bailey into the cover on Shotzi. She gets the shoulder up, survives again. Dakota back on the apron. Ember Moon's got to get out of the ring right now. Bailey whipping Shotzi down to the canvas. And a tag made to Dakota Kai. Bailey and Shotzi have been in this matchup for the last number of minutes. Maybe some fresh blood inside the squared circle will favor one of the teams. Shotzi may be in trouble right now. She needs a tag. She needs a tag desperately. Oh, man. Ember Moon, I think, made the blind tag. Dakota didn't see it. Ember Moon springboard clothesline on Dakota Kai. And that may be what Moon and Shotzi need to get back into this matchup. Dakota Kai in trouble right now. Ember's going back out to the apron. She's got something in mind. Oh, wait a minute. Dakota Kai sees it coming. She ain't interested. Running head start, but Ember Moon with the neck breaker. Goes for the Itsuguri. Kai counters. Kai with a kick of her own. And now is where we hit the next level of this contest. Back and forth we go as the momentum shifts in this first round matchup of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Dakota Kai taking the momentum back for damage control, but Ember Moon is still in here. Dakota Kai breaking the shoulder of Ember Moon right now. Dakota Kai, we haven't mentioned this yet, but she knows what it's like. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cover here. Oh, but Ember Moon is still in this. But Dakota Kai, she knows what it's like to hold the Women's Tag Team Championship. She's held the gold in NXT alongside Raquel Gonzalez. Of course, a former tag team. Those two women no longer see eye to eye. Raquel will be getting a main roster opportunity, though, in this Women's Tag Team Championship tournament. And she'll be teaming up with the Queen of Brutality herself, Rhea Ripley. What a team that is going to be. A force to be reckoned with are those two monsters of the women's division. It would be very interesting to see those two women inside of the squared circle. But Dakota Kai, again, as we mentioned, knows what it's like to hold tag team championship gold. This time she wants to do it with Bailey by her side. Ember Moon is in a predicament right now. Dakota Kai beating her down in the corner. And a knee to the back. Simple but effective maneuver. Kai whips her off. And another. That was a punt kick there to take the legs out from under. Dakota Kai so versatile and vicious with her feet and with her legs. A lot of kicking and hard strikes in the arsenal of Dakota Kai. Oh, and there's another one right there. Ember Moon is in trouble there and a punt kick from Dakota Kai. Or a boot scrape, I should say. And Kai may have just gotten the knockout blow in this matchup. And Ember Moon survives again. And win, loser, draw. Ember Moon and Shotzi showing they got that intestinal fortitude to keep going in this contest. And Dakota back into the cover. 
Oh, and Shotzi in there to break it up this time. May have smelled the end for her and Ember Moon. Shotzi and Bailey about to go at it. Things gaining control before things get ugly. Ember's down, Dakota Kai from the second rope with the splash. Double stomp. And just a beatdown continues to commence in this tag team matchup on Raw. Kai got Ember Moon to her feet. Ember Moon's dazed, but there's some life. There's some life from Ember Moon. After a few minutes of momentum being in damage control corner, this tag has been made, the Shotzi tag has been made to Bailey, And the two fresh competitors meet in the center of the ring of this matchup. Oh, Bailey with a strike. Another one to Shotzi. And dropping the elbow on the competitor. Bailey gonna hit the rope now. It's been several years since she's held championship gold here in the WWE. She wants it again. Does she have what it takes alongside Dakota Kai to get the job done tonight, though? Right now, Shotzi is feeling herself in this matchup, but Bailey trips her up. Whipping Shotzi down to the canvas. We've seen a lot of simple but effective offense from Bailey and Dakota Kai tonight. Wait a minute, Bailey! That may do it. That may be the knockout blow that Damage Control was looking for, but Ember Moon breaks it up at the last second. Ember Moon making sure that this matchup stays with Bailey, or stays, excuse me, away from Bailey and Dakota Kai. But the damage may be done. Ember's down and out, Shotzi's down. Bailey went for the cover, unfortunate rope break for her. Bailey with another kick. Wait a minute, she could be going for the maneuver again. Face plant for the second time in this matchup. But she's got to watch that ring awareness. A rope break here. And Bailey into the cover. But Shotzi has still somehow got life left in her. And every time we see Shotzi inside of the ring, she gets better and better, tougher and tougher, does that young woman. And continuing to prove that fact here tonight. Tag made to Dakota Kai. Ember Moon is out of the picture right now, and Shotzi, as tough as she is, may be worse for wear at the current moment. But there she is, showing some life, going for a super kick, but Kai cuts her off. Kai with the kick to the back of the head, and another one to the back of the neck. Is that all she wrote? Ember Moon again breaking up the pinfall. Ember Moon twice now has saved this matchup for herself and Shotzi, but Dakota Kai sending Moon over the top rope. And I don't know, without Ember Moon in this matchup, able to tag out, Shotzi may be in trouble here on the shoulders, and there it is! And after all the offense from damage control, there may be no getting up from that. There it is. Bailey and Dakota Kai outlast Ember Moon and Shotzi here tonight. They put up a great fight, both women showing that how tough they can be, especially Shotzi in these last number of minutes, really withstanding loads of punishment from damage control. But in the end, Dakota Kai, Bailey, they have punched their ticket to the semifinals of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. What a matchup to kick off the tournament here tonight on Raw. And there is your updated bracket on the road to Survivor Series. Ember Moon and Shotzi wiped away. Bailey and Dakota Kai move on to the semifinals. But who will they meet? We're going to find out this coming Thursday night on Main Event. And another first round matchup Sonya Deville and Shayna Baszler take on Io Shirai and Xia Lee. And also coming up this Thursday, officially signed, the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. Wes Lee, after their tag team win last week, has earned an opportunity. He goes one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship. All that and more this Thursday on Main Event. Well, it is time for your main event in the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Your September 12th edition of Monday Night Raw. And here comes the new number one contender for the WWE Championship. 
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper. Well, over the last number of weeks on Monday Night Raw, four men participated in a WWE Championship Eliminator. The finals took place this past Saturday at Judgment Day when Mustafa Ali met the Apex Predator Randy Orton. And Orton, on numerous occasions, catching Mustafa Ali with an RKO out of nowhere and punching his ticket to become the number one contender for the richest prize in the business today, the WWE Championship of the World. And the matchup has officially been signed. At Survivor Series, Sunday, October the 16th, the rivalry will be renewed one more time. The Viper, the Rated R Superstar, Randy Orton versus Edge for the WWE Championship on October the 16th at Survivor Series. What a matchup that is going to be. Those two men with a long time history with each other, dating back to 2006, where they were the World Tag Team Champions in Rated R KO. Dating back to 2020, when Edge made his WWE return coming out of retirement. Randy Orton took issue with it, and it led to a near year-long fight between the Viper and the Rated R Superstar. They will write the final chapter to their historic rivalry on October the 16th for the WWE Championship, but right now, Randy Orton's got to contest with the return of the franchise. And his opponent, from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Last time we saw John Cena was on August the 9th on Monday Night Raw in a WWE Championship matchup versus Austin Theory. Cena came up short after a 20 minute clinic with the young man. And now Cena is back tonight with a serious look on his face, ready to do the work inside the squared circle. You gotta wonder what the psyche is of John Cena after taking a few weeks off, nearly a month off after that loss to Austin Theory in the WWE Championship. What is Cena's motive returning to the WWE tonight? Does he have championship gold in mind yet again? Does he see a victory over Randy Orton enough to punch his ticket for a future WWE Championship matchup? All will tell in due time, but the 16-time champion, the franchise player, is back in action. And what is about to be an historic and epic main event on Monday Night Raw. Let's get things going. It is September the 12th, Monday night, 2022. A universe mode like no other. You won't see this kind of action, this kind of excitement, this kind of story being told anywhere else but the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel for WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. Raw episode 53, main evented by the historic renewed rivalry, John Cena and Randy Orton. All the battles these men have had over the years. They fought in last man standing matches, Iron Man matches, submission matches, Hell in the Cell, everything in between. WWE Championship Affairs. They are no stranger to each other. Quite possibly the best rival of each other throughout their careers, if not one of the best. But tonight, is it about looking back at the past? It is about punching your ticket for the future. For Randy Orton here is already the number one contender for the WWE Championship. He will meet Edge on October the 16th, Sunday night at Survivor Series for the WWE Championship. For John Cena, his first match in over a month here on Monday Night Raw. If he defeats Randy Orton, you gotta believe Cena is gonna be in line for a future WWE Championship opportunity. Whether that's at Survivor Series or prior to the event, all will tell in due time. But John Cena is looking to bounce back after that loss to Austin Theory nearly a month ago. And prior to that, John Cena is really raking up some victories for the most part. He had a couple of hiccups in the road, but you remember when Cena returned? Back at SummerSlam, he defeated Austin Theory on that night. He went on to defeat Omos in singles action. Remember on the Saturday night's main event before Extreme Rules, that was main evented by John Cena versus Edge, and John Cena picked up the win on that night as well. So Cena's got some recent big time victories in his arsenal. 
Now let's see if he can pull out another one here tonight against a man he has beaten in the past, Randy Orton. Randy Orton has also gotten many victories over the years against John Cena. Again, no strangers to each other are these two men. Which is why it is such a perfect fit here tonight, we should say, for John Cena's return to action. It should be very interesting to see how these two men fight this fight. Randy Orton so far coming out and really beating up John Cena since the opening bell. And Orton's hot off that matchup with Mustafa Ali at Survivor or excuse me, at Judgment Day. Got to wonder the condition of Randy Orton coming out of that matchup where Cena has had over a month off. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell is Austin Theory doing out here? The former WWE Champion Theory out here at ringside. Orton's about to steal the main event. Cena able to survive, but what the hell is Austin Theory doing at ringside right now? John Cena was about to build some momentum in this contest, and now the former, and again, former WWE Champion, the man who lost the title to Edge this past Saturday night at Judgment Day, is out here at ringside, evidently scoping out John Cena upon his return. I don't know what Theory could possibly want with Cena. Again, the last time we saw John Cena was in a loss to Austin Theory here on Monday Night Raw. Cena does own again a victory over Austin Theory back at the SummerSlam pay-per-view in June. Maybe Austin Theory looks at John Cena right now and is questioning why Cena is back, why Cena is making a return here tonight. Cena right in front of Austin Theory, looking to make a statement, but he's got to keep his eye on the ball there. Cena looking down at Theory, or him shoving him off. And I've seen it with the Luthes press to the Viper. The Cena's got to be wondering the same thing. What the hell does Austin Theory want with the franchise right now? Cena's eyeing up Randy Orton for something here. Orton is dazed and Cena with a shot to the gut. A hard enough punch to knock the wind out of any man. Austin Theory's eyeing up John Cena at ringside. What is the motive? For the all-day former WWE Champion Austin Theory. Could he be looking at John Cena, questioning why he is making his return here tonight, wondering why the hell Cena is even bothering stepping foot in the ring yet again? You know, Theory really wanted to get that win over John Cena. He was the one who kind of reached back in to John Cena, made Cena dig down deep and come back to the WWE after spending some time away off in Hollywood and making television shows and movies with the franchise. Cena's really been, for the most part, active ever since the month of June, and Austin Theory's probably wondering why. Theory wanted Cena to come back, lay down for Theory, and let Theory make a name off John Cena's behalf. Cena wasn't about that. Cena wanted to come back and shut up Austin Theory, and he did so at least the first matchup at SummerSlam. And obviously, the issue's continuing to escalate from that matchup all the way till August the 9th, the last time we saw Cena, there was a couple numerous attacks in there. Theory laying out Cena. Cena had a rebuttal moment, or numerous times, excuse me. So maybe Theory's just again wondering why John Cena is here tonight and wants John Cena expelled from the WWE. But regardless right now, Cena's got to stay focused as he is in trouble in this matchup against the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. You know, Orton's looking to continue his momentum coming out of Judgment Day. Randy Orton with the shot. Orton's been in the winning ways for quite a bit here in the WWE. You remember back at Extreme Rules, Randy Orton defeated Riddle, his former tag team partner. Orton then went on to defeat Drew McIntyre in the WWE Championship Eliminator. It was last week here on Raw that Randy Orton and Austin Theory defeated Mustafa Ali and Edge. And again, this past Saturday, Orton defeated Mustafa Ali to become the number one contender. Do you like the cold and vicious attitude of Randy Orton or not, he has certainly earned his right to call himself the number one contender for the WWE Championship and Survivor Series. Right now, Cena's trying to bounce back. Trying to make sure Orton's momentum doesn't continue on his behalf. Cena dropping the elbow, but Orton sidesteps him. It's Cena with a clothesline here. It's Cena, Orton up with the fireman's carry. Cena could be going for the AA, or instead... Hanging Randy Orton up in the top rope. The majority of this matchup at least has felt like Randy Orton's really had the control over John Cena. John Cena's really got to mount some offense here against the WWE Champion's number one contender. 
Cena looking down at Austin Theory, but he's got to stay focused. Cena heading to the top rope, eyeing up Randy Orton here. We already saw Cena go high risk, and he does it again, this time with the crossbody. Into the cover goes Cena on Randy Orton. Is it victory for him? It is not. Great night of action here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament kicking off. Karrion Cross making his return. The Road to Survivor Series kicking off in a huge way. And we'll continue this Thursday night on Main Event as we will see the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continue as well as the Cruiserweight Championship on the line as Ricochet defends against Wesley. Again, that is coming up this Thursday night on Main Event. And Randy Orton continuing his momentum in this contest. Back in the driver's seat is the Viper, but Cena survives yet again. Cena's really struggling to mount some offense throughout this matchup here. Every time he gets a few maneuvers in, Randy Orton's right there to cut him off. Or it may just be at the top of his game right now, and Cena's psyche may be thrown off. Last time we saw Cena was in that loss against Austin Theory. Now that exact man is staring him down from ringside. It just may not be in the favor of John Cena tonight. When Randy Orton's had win after win after win over the past month. Cena's down. Orton go for the RKO. No Cena able to counter. Muscles him up. Power slammed by the franchise. Now or never for John Cena. Struggling to keep the momentum going throughout this contest. He's got to keep fighting against Randy Orton here. Cena missed for a strike. And now Orton's got Cena up. Got to watch out, neck breaker to the canvas below. Into the cover again goes Orton. And Cena survives again in this matchup. Now Orton with the Luthes press. We saw Cena hit this maneuver earlier. Beating down on the opponent. John Cena's in trouble right now. Every time he tries to mount some offense, Randy Orton's right there. And he does it again to counteract him. Cena's trying to throw strikes, trying to, trying to throw anything he can at the number one contender, but Randy Orton is in the driver's seat here. Cena's worse for wear in this predicament. Hangman DDT from the middle rope. Classic Randy Orton. Oh no. Cena's out, Orton's in the corner. Put kick by the Viper. And I don't know if there's any waking up for one of the most vicious, brutal kicks in the industry. Into the cover. And Randy Orton picks up the victory tonight. I think the pressure was just too much for John Cena to handle on this occasion. The memories of his last time here on Raw. That man, Austin Theory, staring a hole in the soul of Cena tonight. And Randy Orton's momentum is at an all-time high right now. I don't know if anybody. I don't know if anybody, even including the rated R superstar Edge, is going to be able to topple the Viper. Randy Orton defeats John Cena upon his return to Raw, but the Road to Survivor Series kicks off tonight with that man, the new number one contender to the WWE Championship, continuing on his path to gold. Thank you for joining us tonight, and we will see you this Thursday on Main Event for the Cruiserweight Championship on the line. Good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.